when you look in the mirror, do you see a beautiful belly dance goddess? Or do you just see the stuff that you hate about your body? Stay with me, dancers, as I show you some of the ways that I've developed to keep myself feeling positive about myself so I can bring out the inner belly dance goddess. Coming up. Marco by Dancers, I am Jen Suya, helping you to achieve your belly dance dreams with the technique and culture of belly dance. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure that you get every one of our videos that we upload each Monday and sometimes on Thursdays too. I think most of us struggle with body image and it's ironic because belly dance is supposed to be that dance that welcomes all bodies. I think having a negative body image about ourselves is the one thing that can kill our dance and the joy in our dance faster than anything else, even over timing, posture, technique. We look in the mirror and we don't see the person who that we want to be or think that we should be. And I think that's one of the biggest things that keeps us from truly bringing out the beauty inside when we are belly dancing. And so I felt the need to make this video for you because I've gotten so many emails from dancers who have attended workshops or subscribers like yourselves who have written to me and said, you know, I struggle with this because I don't feel good about my body. In my opinion, the point of belly dance is to bring out the joy in music and, and the, bring out the joy in what you want to express through the music and through your life. In modern society, and maybe even older societies too, we're so focused on how we look. We want to be beautiful, we want to be attractive, we want to be sexy, we want people to love us. Sometimes when there's an issue that seems impossible to overcome, like overcoming a negative body issue, it's so esoteric, it's like, where do we even start? I think starting with something very concrete can make it easy. The first thing is the obvious one, and that is just keep practicing your dance. The biggest thing that you hear me say in so many videos is your posture. If you have a posture that's showing, I feel good about myself, I'm strong, your mind can start believing that. And I think that that's a really good way to approach things is practice as if. Practice as if you have a great body image. And that can start to train your brain, hey, I look pretty good. Now at first, if you don't you kind of have to fake it at first until you actually, you start to believe what your body is telling you. It's New Year's 2019 when so many of us set great resolutions for ourselves. I'm gonna get in shape. I'm going to learn to be the best dancer. And sometimes our goal, we're, we have such good intentions but we might be setting goals that are so difficult to attain, especially since most of us are our own worst critic and we look in the mirror and see somebody who's way fatter than we actually are, way more wrinkly than, we've, than other people perceive us to be. Nobody else looks at that the way we do. We're the only ones looking at it going, ew, that's awful, I hate that. And other people are looking at how you are, how you dance, how you convey your energy and how you convey the music and the beauty. And so I think a better New Year's resolution, which you can do all year round, is to, when you look in that mirror, not look at, oh, I will be a great dancer when I've I don't know, accomplished whatever this thing is you think that you need to do to have a better body image. But to look in that mirror and say, here's where I am right now. It may be more wrinkly than I want it to be. It may be heavier than I want it to be. Uh, I might be skinnier than I think a belly dancer should be, whatever that is. But to look in that mirror right into your eyes and say, this is where I am right now. This is what I want to give when I dance. I want to give the joy that's inside of me. I want to give the beauty that's inside of me. I want to bring that out with my music. Where I am right now, maybe in six months, I will be, um, well, I doubt I'll be less wrinkly. Um, and maybe you won't be as skinny as maybe you think that you should be. Maybe you won't have attained the body shape that you think that you should have, 
But the point of belly dance is to bring out the beauty of you as you are right now with the music. That's the irony, I think, of so many of us belly dancers who have body image is that this is a dance that's touted to be open to everybody no matter what age what size what gender what how hairy you are how skinny or fat you are and yet so many of us think that oh we have to look like that dancer i mean youtube itself is hundreds thousands of videos of dancers who look you know it's like you look at them and they look like they have per perfect figures one of the big issues that I struggle with is this this little chicken neck here and I know that that's only gonna get worse every year there's wrinkles there's gray hair and I think oh my god are people really gonna want to see an old belly dancer so I struggle with those issues constantly every time I go on stage I think should I be doing this still now that may not be your issue. You may be a good deal younger than me, but you may have an issue that is, um, which is a common one today, is you feeling like, oh, I'm a little bit too fat to be doing this. Each culture has its own idea of beauty. Each era has its own idea of beauty, and each one of us individually has our own idea of what is beautiful. And I think also that most of us tend to be way harder on ourselves than anybody else. I think the number one thing about belly dance is to show the emotion in the music, to show the beauty that you have inside of yourself. And I think that that beauty can be shown no matter how old we are or what size we are. Each one of us is an individual. And rather than focusing on the thing that so much of our society focuses on, because there's so many products and stuff to be sold, I think is, is that if we focus on how we feel about the music and what we love about the dance, I think that that is far more important. But how to do that, that's the really hard part because we have these images in our heads of being this beautiful goddess and we dance it and then if we see a picture of ourselves that maybe somebody caught at a bad angle or, or maybe our skills aren't really where we want them to be yet so we're caught in poses that don't look as great as they probably will be in the future as you gain more skill or maybe you're caught in uh, you see yourself in a photo or a video and you're like ew I don't look that great well maybe your skills in costuming aren't where you would like them to be and so you look at yourself critically the beauty that you have inside is in you the things that and the, the thing about belly dance is how to bring that out. To do that, you have to, first of all, you have to be willing to be vulnerable. You have to be willing to look not as great as you want to look as you're building the skill to bring that out. It is putting your makeup on is a skill. Costuming is a skill. The actual techniques and moves are skills. As you learn those and get better at those, you will be able to portray to your audience, whoever that is, whether it's yourself looking in the mirror or uh, at a party or on a stage or whatever, you will be able to portray that inner beauty as you build the skill in how to show that. That takes a long time. You can learn a few moves in belly dance pretty quickly, but to really be able to relax and show the the, the emotion in the music, it takes a lot of skill. In the meantime, here's what I want you to do. Don't beat yourself up. Look in the mirror and say, you are a beautiful belly dancer. Maybe you don't have as much skill yet as you're going to have in the future. But give yourself the gift of focusing on what you love about yourself. If you have beautiful hair or beautiful eyes or gorgeous glowing skin or nice round curves or you have skinny curves and you love those skinny curves or one certain part of it, focus on those things. Focus on feeling the music, showing the music the best that you can right now, right now.
not how you think you should look, not comparing yourself with a dancer who's danced for 10, 15, 20 years if you haven't danced for that. Focus on having fun with it right now and what you love about yourself, not what you don't like. Focus on those good things. I know this stuff is easy to say and it's really hard to do. I struggle with it too. My weaknesses, these little flaps right here, I call them the, my little chicken skin flappy neck. I don't like it and I know it's only going to get worse. It ain't going to get better and I'm not the type of person who's going to go and get surgery. So every once in a while I just hold it back like that and I try to focus on. <laughs> And I try to focus on, you know what? I love to dance. It's, I feel fabulous. I want to show that joy in my head. My neck still looks 22. And so just bring the beauty of the music out. Have fun with people because, you know, I say it every time, we're all going to be dead soon. So why focus on the awful stuff? Focus on the fun and the beauty and the joy in building your skill one move at a time. Okay, dancers, if you found some value, smash the like button, leave a comment for me of what's that thing that you're going to focus on positively in 2019 so that you can bring out your beautiful inner dancer. And what to watch next? You can do the video on, oh my gosh, no one's watching my show as we're on our way to Alfredo's right now to do our show. Or you can watch the time lapse of me putting on the makeup going from old and gray to Billy Dance Goddess. Okay, Masalama, see you on the next video.